Hi, I'm Joan Newcomb, and today's morning musings is truth and lies. I'm doing a series of daily morning musings, and I'm using post my blog, Adventures in Density and Effort, as inspiration. Now, I wrote these a while ago, and the world has completely changed since then. So if I encounter anything that's out of date, I will give you the most recent information. And at the end, I will summarize the topic based on what's going on in the world today. Also, I have some special offers, so stay tuned to the very end to see what they are. Truth and lies. I've been experiencing some energy energetic and email ping pong between someone who I believe crossed boundaries and really should take responsibility for it. First, someone else wrote them taking responsibility for their side. And this person wrote back not taking any responsibility whatsoever. I couldn't let it be. So a week later, I wrote them too. Their boundary crossing created a lot of pain and suffering and I felt they should know it. Another week went by and this morning I get an email from their sister adding her two cents to the mix, making her sibling out to be the kind and compassionate one and the rest of us were nuts. I really liked the sister's email. It was filled with projections and distortions as everyone else's emails had been. But there were some nuggets of truth in there as well. And really, I'm all about shining light on what is and getting to the truth. So now I want to write back and this is getting really silly. The thing is, under other circumstances, we could have all been friends, but things were done in secrecy and not in the open. And that was not cool or clean. I could send evidence. I could show emails. I could correct their misperceptions or I could just drop it and get on with my life. Because in reality, this is nothing to do with my main focus right now, which is caring for my mother who is dying of cancer and because of her Alzheimer's doesn't know it. My intention is to give her the best quality of life for the remaining time she has left. So far, she's dumping her doctors with her energy level, especially since it appears the cancer is spread and out talking everyone at the senior gatherings I take her to. Something people on her Alzheimer's medicine usually don't do. There are things more important than what someone halfway around the world thinks about me or what they've said or done that violates boundaries. This is one of those times when, looking back on it all, I've been able to say that this was the best thing to ever occur. Out of it comes greater healing, greater awareness, greater depth than ever before. Stuff like this happens that we would never have consciously asked for or worked to manifest. It may seem the most cruel or excruciating thing to experience. And years later, or you're grateful for it. Life is funny that way. This week, notice the nuggets of truth tucked in amongst all the distortions. If you can't see them, pray for the truth. Imagine gold sunlight illuminating the situation. Step back and let the truth come to the surface. Well, this is very interesting because right now I've been engaged in a whole conversation on Facebook with a cousin of mine who I have never met, who lives in Florida and is an avid Republican. And today, I was quite relieved that my sister-in-law's sister, who's not related to this person, has been chiming in with facts and her awarenesses to respond to his talking points. Because I get really stumped reading things that are the complete opposite of what is real. And that's what we're experiencing right now, is that one side is spewing out things, finger pointing and blaming what their administration was responsible for. <laughs> And blaming it on the current administration and the person who's currently running for office. There was a recent debate where the lies that were being spewed were so quick and numerous that the fact checker couldn't check them all in real time. I think there was like 163 lies spewed out in 90 minutes. And it's actually a technique that is applied to keep your opponent from being able to fact check you in real time because you're spewing out so many lies that for them to try to respond or say anything will get them totally unfocused. And really the person in the debate is there to talk about their own policies and the things that they bring to the table. However, nobody in the media is fact checking the person who habitually lies. So it's a very strange reality that we're in right now. And what I'm curious about is the people who believe the lies are taken in by the lies. And it's familiar to me because I grew up in a family where we actually didn't know what my father really did for a living until I was 15. And 
the best way to program someone is to give them a half truth so that half truth sinks in, but the lie part of it glues it into you. So then you get programmed. So what we've got is a large amount of the population that are being told one thing and believing one thing that is a complete opposite of what actually has gone on. And as I'm telling you this, I'm also thinking, well, but the reality is a hologram. It's a creation of consciousness. We're all creating this as consciousness. So maybe some people are just creating an alternative reality, like they're creating alternative facts. And I'll have to say, I've been doing this work for a really long time. So I've been doing this work for two thirds of my life. And I can now internally feel the difference when I am living in the truth, when I am living in reality. And yes, it's a hologram and it's a physical reality. And then as spirit, we're experiencing something higher, brighter, and bigger than this reality. But the whole point of being here is to experience physical reality and to be operating in physical reality. So if you're in La La Land about it, or if you're following somebody, if you've drunk their Kool-Aid and are following somebody who is spewing things that actually aren't even true for them, you're not fully experiencing and realizing what you incarnated into, what you chose to have a body for. Maybe you wrote into the storyline that you were going to spend a period of time in this kind of delusion. But the sad thing about it is the lies that are being spewed are all designed to create fear. And that is the opposite of who we really are and what we're really here for. Because as consciousness, we really are love. And we are here to create reality, to have fun in this adventure of density and effort and to play in this reality. And I've had amazing times of experiencing the love that people report experiencing in a near-death experience. I've experienced here in reality, in physical reality. So it's possible. All you need to do is navigate as consciousness and make your choices and actions as consciousness. And as you do that, things become brighter and clearer and you're filled with more of a sense of well-being and reality rearranges to be in your favor. So if you like these videos, please share them with your family and friends and on your social media and also click the like button and subscribe. And that way you're telling YouTube to share this far and wide and to get this out to someone who really needs to see this information. If you'd like a free sample of one of my consciousness techniques, click on the link below to the skybox technique. It'll give you a way to be able to have a bigger view of your life as consciousness and give you some greater insights. If you like some manifestation techniques, Manifesting Money and Miracles is my self-study course where you can learn how to energetically change all aspects of your life. If you want to know more, my website is joan-newcomb.com. There you can learn about my individual sessions where I take a look at the essence of who you are and what's going on in your life today. And then I can answer any questions that you might have, whether it's about your relationship, relationships, about your job, about your living situation, what's coming up in your future. I can also talk to your deceased loved ones. I do half hour and 60 minute sessions and it's all recorded just for you. Now, if you want to learn how to do this for yourself, and that is navigate your life as consciousness with the help of some consciousness techniques, Manifesting Money and Miracles is a great preparation for my coaching special where I work with you one-on-one -on -one and give you specifically chosen consciousness techniques so that you can transform your life. So go to my website, joan-newcomb.com and I'll see you tomorrow in another morning musings.